threshold based all metal today and its ability to distinguish ferrous and non-ferrous targets which it can do and there's a way that you can tell a ferrous target will begin to sound off on the edge of the coil and will disappear in the center it will it'll have a very long ramped up and then drop off but it'll start on the edge a non-ferrous target will start right here not on the edge it'll start here it'll be a brief signal ramp up and down I prefer to knock back the threshold into the silent area so there is no sound at all maybe even a little further back depending on how deep you want to go right on the edge I'm going to turn the threshold back to the T and to Sorrel. Now we've got a quarter. Watch where this starts to sound off. Now a quarter is as big as a bottle cap. Watch closely. It's brief. It starts sounding off in the middle, not on the edge. Brief signal. That's how you can tell the difference in all metal threshold between a bottle cap and a quarter. Another nice thing is, say you got a screw like this. Screw. With the threshold turned down, I don't hear that screw. Quarter next to it, which in the disc mode could possibly be masked. <clears throat> and you hear it perfectly. Let's put this little screw up to an inch and a half. But it's not, it's not a conclusive sound. Switch it into discriminant is masking the quarter. See if we can get that quarter sideways in the discriminant mode. Indiscriminate? That's pretty good actually getting it below there. Remove the quarter. Nothing. Quarter back down. All metal. Discriminant. It's masked. Although I would in investigate that chirp. Okay, let's take a square bolt. Square bolt. Starts beeping on the edge of the coil. It's got a long drawn out, ramped up. Okay, we got a nickel. Watch where it begins to sound off. Center of the coil. So this threshold based all metal can distinguish between iron and non-iron. Take a piece of can slaw. Again, sounds off in the center of the coil.